you always remember. All right, all right. Welcome everybody to our fourth class this August for the Healthy Sex Degree Living with Essential Oils. Barbara Alfonso, Jessica Aloha. Thank you so much for being here. And today's show, we're gonna share with you how to upgrade your medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. So we all have a medicine cabinet in our bathroom or wherever it is that you have it. Open it up, there are all kinds of different things there that we need for cuts and scrapes and for headaches, for stomach aches, all kinds of different things. And we wanna share with you how we have slowly upgraded that medicine cabinet to use essential oils and other products that are created by doTERRA, which is a company that we are both wellness advocates for. And we um, they've created other pro products other than essential oils that also have essential oils. That would be some of the products that can replace uh, some of the things you might have in your medicine cabinet. So without further ado, let's just get it started. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen with you. So there's something that you guys are going to be um, looking at. Real quick, real quick here. We can start with <clears throat> essential oils. What are essential oils? Essential oils are volatile compounds that are extracted from plants, from the roots, the barks, the leaves, the flowers, sometimes the seeds of a plant. There's uh, different extraction methods. And what we get in a bottle, it's pretty much earth in the bottle, okay? Super concentrated. Is the essential oil of that plant. And essential oils have different properties, different chemical constituents, and they all act in different ways. Some might be soothing, some might be uh, relieving, some of them might be more cleansing properties, more protective, antibacterial, antiviral properties. Um, there are a lot of resources that we share with you, not necessarily today, but books and apps that give you going right into detail on what the chemical constituent is in each of the oils and what it does and what it's for. Um, this essential oils with doTERRA are essential oils that we feel are very effective because they're very pure, okay? The only thing that you will find in this bottle, and it goes through about eight to 11 tests, um, for it to be fully pure product, meaning it doesn't have anything extra, any um, additional oils, anything that would cut the oil. Yeah, they're just making sure that uh, every bottle, it's pure and safe to use. It doesn't have any additives, it doesn't have anything that does not belong there. Especially so because we advocate that you can use these oils topically and internally. So in order to stand by a product and say, hey, yes, you can take this internally or put it on your skin, it must be in its pure form. And also because it is in its pure form, um, you also only need very little. Of very it. little you get. We're talking about medicinal properties of these products. You wouldn't you know, use, let's say you get whatever, the Advil pills or whatever, you're not gonna just shake it out and take five pills all at once, right? There's a specific way to, to take that medicine. In the same way, there's a specific way to take these as medicine. So they're effective. Another really cool thing that we love about essential oils is that they're certified pure therapeutic essential oils, okay? What that means is, again, they went through, through the process of testing to make sure we have a super pure product without any synthetics in it, any fillers or any harmful contaminants. And you guys have already been in class before, so you have a pretty good knowledge about essential oils and where to get all of this information so that when you're sharing with other people, you can also pass on the information like uh, source2u.com is a great um, resource to find how to, where they test the oils, how they test them, and how they came back with the serial number in the back. And you can have, you know, you can let people know, as you already know, that they can learn how the oils are being extracted, where they're coming from, how they're being harvested, you can learn about the farmers. So it's really cool in-depth um, information, source of information. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the three ways to use the essential oils. I talked about it just a little bit. I don't know why I went into two. There you I, go. <laughs> I would say, why don't you guys type in the chat, what are your favorite ways of using um, essential oils per se, aromatically? That's one of the ways that we use essential oils, right? Mm -hmm. 
So there's there's many ways that I like to use essential oils. I personally like the hot towel. I like to put essential oils in uh, hot water, put a towel, and then I apply it on my face, or I put it over my head and just breathe it in, or I put it in a hot cup of water, and I just inhale the, the heat from the cup. That's mm -hmm. one way that I really like to use it, especially when I'm having trouble, like when I'm feeling a little congested or my throat is hurting. That's a really great way to use it. What's your favorite way? Um, also, aromatic, but also topical is another way that I like to use it. I like to use it whether I have something specifically or to use the reflexology point on my feet, hands, or ears, and then put it there. But also probably, you know, topically, my favorite is to use it like just in my wrist, the back of my ears, my heart, you know, if I'm like using rose or anything like that. I love massaging it on myself and others, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and see. then lastly, I was just wanting to see if you girls had share your favorite ways of using essential oils. So lastly, it's internally. So let's say you've got something going on and then you look for the book. The book will give you a recipe and it'll say, take it internally, one to two drops of so-and-so oil. You can do that in a vegetable capsule. So we sell vegetable capsules in doTERRA. You would open that and drop one or two drops of whatever the oil is. You close it and you take it in like you would yes. in a capsule. And we really recommend diluting it. So let's say you're doing two drops of three different oils. Just add a little bit of carrier oil so that it's easier on your stomach and make sure that you don't do it for too many days in a row. So like three, four days tops, I would say take a break and then... And that carrier in. oil for internal would be olive oil. Olive so oil think of an perfect. olive oil that you normally take internally. So you put olive oil yes. to take that. Yeah, beautiful. So those are the three ways to use the essential oils. And now, if you girls have any questions, just again, type it in the chat. I'm paying attention to the chat. Mm -hmm. So we answer questions and I'll let Barbie know. So here we have, imagine this is your medicine cabinet, right? Be prepared for anything. So let's start here right at the top. Number one, we've got peppermint, wild orange, and brief. So now, respiration, okay? Think of what are some things that you may have in your medicine cabinet that you would use for respiration, okay? So something that I know, like I grew up with, my family grew up with, and we knew that if we had stuffy nose, if we had anything going on with our sinuses, Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> Vicks Everywhere. Vapor Rub, either the one you stick up in your nose or the petroleum-based gel, which you would put in your chest mm -hmm. and, and breathe it in. So with essential oils, you would replace that with the brief essential oil. So we've got that over here. You can diffuse this, okay? Or you can also use it with a carrier oil and let's say put it on your chest, put it in the reflexology point on the feet mm -hmm. for the lungs, okay? But the best thing, anything that has to do with respiratory is breathing it in. Yeah. In the diffuser, just in your hand, cupping the hand. Okay. And you guys, right now, sorry to interrupt you, but right now in the times that we're in with this COVID um, virus that we have, it's super important that we strengthen our diaphragm, that we strengthen our, you know, our lungs. And so breathe is a great oil blend to do that, mm -hmm. right? I love to do it before Panayama, breath regulation exercises, just to, to help us to breathe better, mm -hmm. yeah? So can you show us one, one breathing exercise? Yes. So I like to, I put the, the breath in my hand and then I just very slowly, I close my eyes. I like to do this laying down or in the tub. It's a really great way to do it. I diffuse the breath next to me and I just inhale nice and slow. I hold the breath in. I time myself 30 seconds to start mm -hmm. with, and then you can work your way up to one minute. But that's because I've been doing it for a long time. I can actually hold the breath in for a minute, and then I exhale very slowly, and I also hold the breath out for up to one minute now. You hold the breath for a minute? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna do that's, that. because, that's because I've been, <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. I've been training myself to right. do it. So let's talk <laughs> beginner. Yeah. <laughs> Five seconds is okay, you guys. Yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> Just in a heart. Five seconds. 
five seconds in, hold it. Sometimes holding it five seconds seems like a long. It seems long, like a long, long, but you can train yourself to do it a little bit more. Of course. And a little bit but more, we, that's how you're going to get We got to start baby strong. steps. Absolutely. But I'm just yeah. telling you girls, are like, what's possible? When I first heard about, about that, I was like, no way. And I, it's just about relaxing into it. It's, can I be the space for this? Can I relax? Can I slow down my heart rate? Can I slow down all of the systems in my body to the point where I, I can just be there and... It, it, it's it's possible anything's possible anything's right. possible now Vicks vapor up okay my grandmother like that was like the smell every night that I remember going to bed I'm from Venezuela so she would always put Vicks vapor up so we have this awesome stick called the breathe vapor stick soothes and cools okay so it, it's kind of like like a gel you can also put it on your chest so it's more like that gel like instead of the essential oil. So that's another really cool thing for that. And this one's really is safe on kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, safe for kids. And then on number two, we have Digest Zen. So you've got something going on with your stomach. What are some things that you may have in your medicine cabinet for digestion? Think your Pepto-Bismol. You guys, if you have this in your medicine cabinet, okay, so think of like what, are, what do you use and bring it out, go ahead and get it and look at the ingredients, look at what's in it, okay? So you can start to really understand what are these things that I'm using? Sometimes, and I know for me, like I would use whatever I would use because my parents did or exactly. because I saw an ad for it mm -hmm. because it's what's in the store. That's But I really thought. never looked at the ingredients. I just trusted that, that, that was the thing. this is what it does, people. It's, it's on TV, it must be good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a different understanding now about um, advertisement and all of that. So I actually, the way that I work now before, my shampoos, my everything I would buy, whatever I would see as a commercial on TV. Mm. Now, if I see it on TV, I probably don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, digestion. So if you have Pepto-Bismol, if you have acid reflux tabs, what the tums, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you may have for digestion? Get that, look at the ingredients, look at all that. And then for essential oils, there's a blend called Digest Zen. And it's a blend because it has different oils and the oils that are here are anise, peppermint, ginger, caraway seed, coriander seed, tarragon and fennel seed okay so these are all um, essential oils put together in this blend that can help you with constipation diarrhea bloating um, acid reflux what are some other things um, vomiting nauseous, nauseous. Mm -hmm. um, so think of heartburn that. it's really good for heartburn you guys like versus Pepto-Bismol kind of it used to give me like a little coating, like a cooling sensation. But once I tried this digest in, it's actually three times stronger, that cooling sensation. And it doesn't leave me that, that weird taste in my mouth. And I know that there's something really natural. This is like what uh, my gra great grandmother, all the, the flowers and the herbs that mm -hmm. they used to use back in the day to, yeah. to take They'll care of the tea. belly. They'll yeah. make a tea. You can grab the plant also the, the, and then make a tea from that. The thing is that essential oils are 50 to 70 times more potent and stronger than a, the, the plant itself. So think of this as a super uber concentrated version mm -hmm. of the plant. So you only need one or two drops. The way that you can do this one is in a tea, hot water, one or two drops of this, maybe a little bit of honey, and you drink it for any stomach upset. Okay. So the name itself says it, digest. Zen. <laughs> so find Zen with any digestive yes, disorders. Right. That's how you can start to, to shift that. Okay. So change that pink slime for yeah. a little, little blue digest. Zen. You can also, you can also apply it directly on the, on the belly and it mm -hmm. creates a, a very cooling sensation. My sister uses it with her kids. She dilutes it a little bit. When they say, mommy, my tummy hurts, she, she applies it and she's like, wow, it really does work. Mm -hmm. so. There's a stomach point on the feet. You can also massage it in that point on the feet. You can also take it internally in a capsule. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. This is one that maybe I wouldn't, you can. Also, if you wanna do all the things, you can diffuse it 
Or you can just simply be like that, you know, be like the Alice now. Yeah, she doesn't like it, so she wouldn't refuse it. (laughs) All right, moving on. Number three, past tense. I don't have a past tense, but past tense only comes in a roller like this, okay? And past tense, it's used for tension headaches. It's used for, you know, if you've got tension around the neck and your shoulders, headache, you put it around the temples the back the back of your neck and it's very 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 strong and it's a hot oil so when you do get it just be very modest just use very little start with a little bit and rub it in the back of your neck and you're surely very soon you're going to start to feel heat and cold at the same time and it works so well for headaches for migraines it's is awesome some people do a halo around the head but it could be kind of intense to do that so if you hear that just right re- just start slow yeah very exactly. little exactly so look for your headache medication that you might have and definitely look at the ingredients there okay mm-hmm. and there is there's a, a little corner that would say peel to look at more ingredients these are like non-active ingredients that are there i don't know what for because they're not active ingredients. They put so many things there and they make it so difficult for you to read what's actually in there. We were looking at, we were like trying to read what's in it and they have so colors, so small. they have synthetic coloring in them. Um, they have a bunch of things you can't pronounce. You'll be a, that opening that like extra little layer of the inactive ingredients. Like you literally need to like, it says peel here for more. You need to peel that in that headache medication. And I looked at that and I was like, oh my God, back in the day when I was taking them for period cramping, um, I'm like, oh my God, I'm taking like six, eight of these every month. And and then add that all the years that I did that for. Yeah, and, and add if you drink alcohol in combination with that, it's so bad for your stomach. I get such bad stomach pains when I take add those. So we advocate for staying with the most natural ways of dealing with at, at first and then if the natural way is not working you then always you have that, that too as plan b yes so our our idea or intention is to for you to maybe find natural solutions as plan a and then you'll always have a plan b to to fall back on it if necessary but can your first a be natural as natural as it can be the answer is yes because we've we've done it and that's why we're doing this so we can inspire you to also Remember, remember that you have natural solutions at your fingertip. We can keep this information to ourselves. We and then share. number four, we've got, can you show me that part where it shows the thing? Number four, I think it's a uh, melaleuca or tea tree. Okay. Number four. Melaleuca. Tea tree. Yep, tea tree. So tea tree, uh, it's probably one of the most popular ones. You find all kinds of tea trees all over the place, Walgreens. I remember buying a tea tree a long time ago for like a fungus or something. Um, Somebody said tea tree. So all things skin clearing, acne, fungus, uh, nail It's not Mm aseptic. It's good for acne. I just said that's good for fungus, nail funguses. It's also, you can use it to make your own hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Um, and also bug repellent, insect repellent. So like one oil can be used for so many things. So that's why our cabinets, our medicine cabinet looks so pretty because we don't have all these different bottles for all these different things, Mm -hmm. with all these different chemicals. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Exactly. We we became medicine women and we wanted to do the same. I was gonna look for it, but there it is. Until minty, antifungal, antiseptic. Uh, for rashes and eczema, dandruff, athlete's food, acne and blemishes, staph infections, strep throat and tonsillitis, and herpes, okay? Um, And has a bunch of other um, uses as well. So all of this is in in the books. Um, We'll be sharing some links with you of where you can get these books. Um, So that's your tea tree. Can start to replace some of the things that you use for like fungal things like that. Okay, and cleansing properties. Um, and then in the picture there, you see a correct X. I love this correct X. This would replace your Neosporin. So let's say you have cuts and crepes, scrapes, and this is like that ointment, okay? It's an ointment and it helps to as antibacterial. Also skin funguses, this helps with funguses. As I well. had, I it has had a little spot in here. It. Yeah, it I had a little spot in here it. and I thought it was a sunspot and it just kept coming back um, and I started to do some research and 
and I found that it could be a, a fungus, a skin fungus. And I thought it was like, oh my God, do I have cancer? Like what's going, what's going on? And I was gonna go to the doctor and, and this whole thing. And I put that in within two days, it was gone. I don't even have, I thought it was wow. a sunspot. Wow. And it was definitely a fungus. I don't even know how I got it, but. So this has exactly. frankincense, helichrysum, cedarwood, maluca, and lavender. Helichrysum is so These good are like skin. the top, top skin oils. Mm -hmm. So uh, my mom's husband's hands burned from using too much Purell antibacterial. Like they were burned. Yeah. And I know another one of my clients also his hands burn. Correct X fixed it within a day. Within yes. a day or two, his burns were gone. So Correct X is your, that ointment. It would, if you have Neosporin, which is petroleum based, then you would replace that with the Correct X. All right, and then you see there towards the end of that picture, there's the doTERRA on guard uh, soft gels. And these are your protective, the on guard is the protective blend. So it's a blend of essential oils that are also antiviral, antibacterial. Um, Let me see if I can find it here. I can say a little bit more about the doTERRA soft gels. Here we go. The ingredients are orange, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it helps with immune support, colds and flu, airborne viruses. Um, it's also, you can use it as a mouthwash, so you can do a little drop of water. Um, for cold sores, MRSA, gum disease, and cavities. Because it has clove in it, and clove is what they use in the dentist. Mm -hmm. um, I was having a little pain, and I put uh, clove. Yeah. You, you would use a Q-tip. And then kind of dab the Q-tip wherever you're feeling the pain and it just went away. Now, clove is so strong. <laughs> Maybe it went away because then I was like, oh my God, the clove is hot. But it kind of numbs it. It does. It numbs does it. Numb it. And then it just, it went away. I didn't have, I didn't feel that little pain anymore. So. Oh, and um, we found this thing the other day. Remember the, we put toothpicks. So if you have like a little leftover of on guard um, or even clove, you can add a little, a little mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> some tea tree. Um, <laughs> you can add a little bit of carrier no. oil, like coconut. Stop. Go away. You have a maluca. Open it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's a nice way to have a toothpick infused with the on guard to, you know, pick your whatever you need to be. Yeah. yeah. So when you have like a tiny little bit left of your on guard, take off that little plastic thing that's in there. That. And then just fill it up with um, the toothpicks, the wood, wood ones. ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you do it just, you know, when you use it, it's going to be. Oh, they have the ones that nice. have the tops are like cut and very pretty. And so. Um, nice All right. Situation. Moving on. Okay. So let's go into what's number six, Serenity. Okay. So Serenity here, you see this purple one here. That's another blend. And it's a restful blend. So that's something that you would use for sleep for relaxation. Whoop, whoop. Oh, <laughs> they're like together. All right. Focus. <laughs> we need to get the, what's the, the bug one? I the have it in my purse. Parashield, but it's parish oil, oil based and we don't put oil in there. Yeah, we don't want to spray right. oils in the computer. So serenity. Serenity for sleep. So are you taking medication for sleep? What are some things that you're using for that? This is something that you can diffuse. Type in the chat. What are you using for, for going to sleep? To help you, you can use it in the points uh, for the brain, which is the big toe. You can use it, um, you know, topically on the pulse points. And there are also Serenity soft gels. Okay, so these are already the oil in there, and it has the carrier oil. And um, I don't know if there's anything else in the Serenity. There's some aminos. There's some aminos. Some aminos to help mm -hmm. GABA probably yeah, to GABA. help with sleep. I absolutely love it. I take two of them. I diffuse Serenity. I do a hot bath with um, uh, magnesium salts or mm -hmm. Epsom salts is the same thing. And I sleep like a baby. That's, uh, I like to go to sleep early so that I can wake up early. I'm doing the same 5 a.m. club where I wake up really, really early every day because we're more productive when we wake up early, but to wake up early, we must go to sleep early. So what, what are some ways that I, those are some ways that I use to be able to go to sleep early because before I would get really distracted with my phone and like all these things and that's why sometimes people go to MBN and like all these medications because they're not they, they don't have these tools and they don't know other things that they can I've use. never taken sleep medication I, I am known to as 
I'm the best anyway. sleeper. I can sleep. For a while, I thought I was narcoleptic, but that was right before I was just having blood sugar, like ups and downs. Mm. I'm fine now. But if you tell me sleep, whoop, I can. And I have really good sleep. However, a friend, the one who introduced me to the oils like five years ago, gave me a capsule to try of lavender and she put lemon in it. Two drops of lavender, one of lemon. I don't remember getting home, but Brian told me that I just walked in, I took my clothes off and I went straight to bed and landed on the bed and went to sleep and never moved. It was so strong, two drops of lavender for me. You're that really I just like dropped dead, but alive because right. I broke up. Super restful, yes, but it was just like, if you need to go to bed and you can't, I use the lavender. There is lavender in Serenity, but what I did was just lavender. And there's other oils that are good for, for sleep as well. Like Moving on. Chamomile and vetiver, but yes, bueno. <laughs> That's our safe word. Safe word when we're going bueno. off in a tangent, bueno. But So we've got Aroma Touch and Coconut Oil. The Aroma Touch is a massage blend. And then coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, you want to have it there because that's going to be your carrier oil when you're making your rollers, when you need to put something topically. And then um, that's going to be what you're going to use for as a carrier oil. And then as you see here in the pictures, there's a shampoo and a lotion. So not necessarily medicine, but this is something that we're going to have in our cabinet in the bathroom. So just so you know, we also carry shampoo and conditioner. The lotion is non-scented, so you can put a drop of any essential oil you like for that evening or that day, whenever you're putting your lotion, whatever you want to smell like, you can put a drop of that, mix it in, and then you can have different scents every day of your lotion. Um, what else do we got there? We got the, the foaming hand wash, okay? So if you have any kind of like, you know, I used to just buy the cheap hand wash. I never thought about it like soft, I don't know, something, soft soap or something yeah, like that. But um, what happens is that a lot of those have antibacterials and they have other chemicals and coloring that you really don't want to be putting in your hands. Fragrance, they have a lot of fragrance. Lots of fragrance, which is synthetic. So we also have a hand wash here that's part of the On Guard uh, blend, which is a protective blend. And we also have a mouthwash. So we mentioned that you can do uh, a mouthwash with the On Guard essential oil, but we also have, uh, well, the picture is there, but we have um, a mouth. They've already done it for us. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Okay. I love it. Um, it's not shown there. It's at the bottom, but we also have toothpaste. Now, Deep Blue, this is one that I definitely want to talk about. There are three main oils that I buy all the time, and Deep Blue, it's one of those things that I probably get. Me too. Brian uses it a lot for massage, um, and I, I use it a lot. And whenever somebody, you know, like I have... Um, neighbors that are elderly, they're like in their 70s and 80s and oh, I have my knee hurts, whatever. I've given them samples of the deep blue and they call me the next day. They're like, Barbara, I was able to walk. I feel so much better. Mm -hmm. So then I order, I order that time. I order them some, some deep blue. Yeah, it's great. Because it sure. really supports with, this is, think of if you have like um, Bengay, Icy Hot, mm -hmm. the Tiger Balm. If you have any of these things, petroleum based products, you can start to look into switching it with the deep blue cream for muscle aches, soreness, pain, yeah. topical pain. Uh, the rest of the picture there, you've got a hand sanitizer and the on guard beadlets. The beadlets are these little beadlets that you can kind of like pop swallow and pop in your mouth, and it could be like a super strong. Um, I take is, those with me when I travel, um, pop them, keep popping them because it's a protective blend, so it will protect you from viruses. Um, the hand sanitizer. Also, you can refill the bottle with alcohol and on guard oil. You can add a little tea tree and you can make your own um, hand sanitizer with the, the oils that you like the most. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, okay, now be healthy with daily habits. Okay. So we've got uh, supplementation. We've talked about supplements in the past. But supplement, it's something else. If you're someone who um, is looking for more energy, uh, for looking just for better overall feeling of, of well-being, um, ask yourself, are you eating as many vegetables and fruits as you can? Are you getting lots of amino acids from the proteins that you're eating? Are you eating lots of enzymes from some of the foods you're eating? If the answer is no, you don't feel like you're eating the rainbow, you're eating lots of whole foods, okay? 
foods that are whole. If you don't feel like you're eating a lot of that, supplementation is something you want to do. Even if you are eating yeah. super well, supplements, we, you know, unless you're eating a ton of food all day long, which probably most of us are not, mm -hmm. um, supplement is something that can supplement and help you achieve some of these, um, uh, take in some of these minerals and vitamins that you might miss, be missing from food or that your body's being depleted and because we're also releasing some of the, you know, our bones need more nutrition, extra nutrition. So depending on the level of activity that you do, and I work out a lot, so I need more supplementation for brain function, for my hair, for my skin. It's just, it's kind of like, this is my temple. It's just like, it's kind of like adding money into your bank, right? If you don't add the supplement, the body starts to deplete and it's aging constantly where, so we got to add, 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 add. So all the good foods, mm -hmm. the healthy lifestyle and supplementation. So if you're someone that doesn't like to take a lot of pills, for me, the way that I do it is I do it throughout the day. So it could be in the morning when I do my little protein shake or like if I have my first meal, I'll take my vitamins and I take two of each. And then maybe in the afternoon, I take my bone supplement and to balance my hormones. And then at night I'll take more greens. And so I'm constantly throughout the day putting supplements in my body. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are taking supplements, let us know what you are taking. Mm -hmm. uh, but these right here, it's called the Live Long Vitality Pack. And there are three supplements. And one is called the EO Mega, okay, which is the omegas three, six, and nine. These are your essential fatty, fatty acids, and you need this for brain function. And then we've got the Microplex, which is bioavailable multivitamin. This is your eight vitamin A to vitamin Z, um, and it's your whole food supplement. Okay, so it has the greens, has digestive blend there as well. And then there's the there's the Alpha CRS, which is your antioxidant. And this one's for cellular energy and longevity, okay? There are also, you see the number 11s, the terazyme. These are your enzymes. And this so is something that you would take in. You would take one or two before your meal, okay? You take them, and this is how I learned from a chiropractor in one of the, in convention, I took one of the trainings. And she said, uh, this is what she suggests to her clients. You take the first bite of your food, mm -hmm. okay? And then you're gonna take two terazymes. That's how I take my supplements, food. by the way. That's mm -hmm. how I take all my supplements. I always take supplements with food, unless you need to take something without food, but most of the time I eat it with, I take it with food. Like in between the food is good because that way it doesn't sit at the bottom mm -hmm. or at the top. And then probiotics, that's something else that you wanna be taking in. Um, probiotics, it's something for this specific uh, probiotics that there's a, it's a 30 day, um supply supply but the way that they suggest especially if you're starting out is that you do potent for 10 days so you're going to be doing kind of like triple the amount you're mm -hmm. supposed to be doing but for the first 10 days yeah. of the month and then you give 20 days of just a break and then you start again yeah well i like i and like to continue yeah. uh -huh. i like to continue just for yeah, just just to for maintenance that's the word that i was looking for <laughs> What are some things that you may have in your medicine cabinet for anxiety, for when you're feeling stressed out? What are some things that you take or do? Some of the oils that can su uh, support with that could be balance and adaptive will be ones that I would um, recommend. You can use it topically or you can use it diffusing, okay? Not internally. However, there is a adaptive supplement that you can take internally. Um, they've taken out the oils that you're not supposed to take internally with the essential oil so that it's a supplement that helps to give you focus and also calm you, but not a calm that makes you sleep. Like Serenity is calm for sleep. For sleep. Adaptive is calm with focus. And it also has a different, another amino acid in it to, for, for that. That's what they added. And this they is the easiest one to have in your purse. Mm -hmm. Don't stress. We're right here. This is how Barbie likes to do it in her class. Put in the wrist. <sighs> so good. Nice. And then uh, there is also deep blue essential oil. Um, there's a deep blue rub, which is the lotion, but then there's also the, the oil in itself that you can also do either in the roller or um, topical. You do not take that internally. However, they are deep blue soft gels as well that they've created for more uh, internal approach for that. You one. know, they, they have um, green tea. 
in them, the deep blue. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. I, I definitely, I felt, you know, I was like, oh, I'll take deep blue at night because it's going to help me with my muscles and everything. And then I was reading the ingredients and it's got green tea. So I actually take it when I'm training really hard and my muscles are hurting and I want to recover faster. I take it before I go to the gym give me energy and it's got like the turmeric and ginger and all the good things. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So you can start to think about what are some other things maybe that we didn't mention? What are some things that you are using and how can you look to see how you can supplement that? So these books that we suggest, I'm just going to bring my oil magic book. This is the one that I'm loving a lot recently. Um, you would go into, let's say, I don't know, name something that you would have medicine for normally in your house for something. Okay, here, I open it and it says bloating. Okay, so look for bloating. <laughs> and then when you look into that, it says fennel, digest blend, digestive blend, ginger, juniper berry, peppermint. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't have digest zen. And you're like, oh, I do have fennel and I have ginger. All right, it says here I can use it topical and internal. And then it tells you, it gives you a protocol. Go to page 190 to look for the protocol, what to do with those oils. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And there, right there, you became your own nurse, your own doctor, your own taking care of yourself person. <laughs> so what is it? What, what is um, an ailment that you might have? Something that you're using that you're like, this is not very natural. I don't want to keep using this, but I want to start using something that can support me. I want more natural solutions. Let me try essential oils and see how that works for me. And then you start to shift. And of course, if you're one of our customers or if you're not, what are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> if you know Jessica, you know me, you reach out to us and you have us as your wellness advocates. That means that you're gonna have our phone numbers, you're gonna have our emails, and you're gonna ha have the ability to ask us questions. Yeah. And of course, we're gonna educate you and keep providing these classes so that you can keep educating yourself as well. We'll give you all the resources, including this book. Mm -hmm. So blood sugar, high, blood clotting, blister, obviously it's A to Z. So look for some of the things that you feel that you want to start upgrading in your personal medicine cabinet and then find out, is there an essential oil for that? And probably, probably is. there is, because look, <laughs> hair loss, hand singling, hangover, head lice, hearing issues, genital warts, glaucoma, Think about it, and it's probably here. Okay, so also for cleaning. I mean, we've done classes on that. Yep, Advanced Oil Magic is your book. There is an app for it as well. When you buy the book, it comes with a little uh, little scanner code so that you can also download the app. Um, is there anything else that we didn't mention, you guys, that you want to talk about? I know that we have some of the people here already know us, but real quick with the closing because we're almost going to make it for 45 minutes like we wanted. Is this the series three book? Ellen is asking. Ellen is, it's probably it. Yep, the series three. You always, whenever you get books, you're going to see, if you see one that's like same name, what kind of looks the same, but one's cheaper than the other, the cheaper one, it's probably the, the older one. one, which means that it might not have oils that just kind of came out, you know, mm -hmm. after that uh, book was printed. Yeah. So always look for the latest edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you haven't purchased your oils yet, when you do purchase your oils with us, you will, we will gift you that book in a PDF form so that you have it at the right in your phone. You have it available to you to use easy access. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So yeah, you guys, um, two ways to purchase with us. You can do retail using our link, but the best way is to become a wholesale customer and you do that by um, getting membership. The membership is only $35 for the whole year, or you can waive that membership by getting one of the kits. So we're happy to show you how to go about that. The best way is to get on a call with us and we can hear what are some of your challenges, what are some of the things that you need natural support with. And then we'll guide you into what are some of the best things for you. So reach, if you have her number, you can reach out to her. You know her, if you were invited by, by Jessica or someone else maybe invited you, go ahead and reach out to them. They're a wellness advocate and they can help you get your oils. And if you're too eager and you can't wait for either one of us or the person that signed you up, you can go to doTERRA.com and you can sign up. Just make sure that in the part where it says sponsor, you put the name or the ID number of the person that invited you because then you will get them with 
ask your personal wellness advocate to help you and guide you along the way. That means that you have access to our private resources from our Facebook group to a website with lots more education, invitation to events, and um, yeah, and connection to us. Yeah, and lots of goodies because we like to give things. So uh, you get those little perks here and there. Awesome. Do we have any questions? I haven't been looking into the chat. What you got there? We can probably open it up if anyone wants to share um, your experience or if you have any questions, please unmute yourself and we can answer those. Awesome. For now, I'm going to stop the recording. Okay. Okay. So we'll stop it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We have really cool classes coming up in September. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so September 1st, I think we're going to do our oil one-on-one. -on -one. So this is where you can inv invite your friends and family that you're like, oh my God, I've been using these oils. They're awesome. This is where they come and like we take more time and really explaining all the uh, things about oils. And then we're going to talk about the art and science of blending. So now you've got oils. Now you want to start to blend. How do you do that? So we're going to bring in our friend Lindsay and she's going to uh, teach us how to do that. And then the so following week, one. we're going to use yeah, those why? concepts and we're going to do we're going to make, we're going to make uh, stuff. So it's going to be a do-it-yourself class. You're going to have your oils, your things ready. We're going to tell you what to have ready. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to take cacao. a little break and then we're going to have a cacao ceremony for the end of September. Mm, we're going to show you guys how to make the most delicious cacao also using your essential oils mm -hmm. to enhance the experience. And how to make some pies as well with that. Some chocolate pies, oh, some chocolate and the, and the cacao as well. All right. Thank you guys so much.